Top 10 Best Live Action Lois Lane Actors Lois Lane made her debut alongside Superman in 1938's Action Comics No. 1. More than just Superman's love interest, Lois is a fierce newspaper reporter in her own right. An essential part of the Superman story, Lois Lane has been portrayed by many different women over the years across television and film. So let's take a look at the top 10 best live action portrayals. Number 10. Patricia Morand On March 29, 1966, Superman made it to Broadway in the musical comedy It's a Bird, It's a Plane, It's Superman at the Alvin Theatre. Patricia Moran played the role of Lois Lane opposite Bob Holliday's Superman. Despite some favourable reviews, the musical didn't catch on and closed on July 17, 1966. However, Moran still received a Tony Award nomination for her part as Lois Lane. Sadly, no footage of Moran as Lois Lane exists. Oh, how I wish I weren't in love with Superman A wasted life is all I've got with a Superman. Number 9. Leslie Ann Warren. The ABC TV Network's adaptation of It's a Bird, It's a Plane, It's Superman aired on Friday night, February 1st, 1975. Receiving poor reviews due to its overly camp adaptation of the 1966 Broadway musical, the TV movie was filmed on video over the course of three days with Leslie Ann Warren playing the role of Lois Lane. Ten years later, Warren was amongst many actors who auditioned for the role of Lois Lane for Superman the movie, with Margot Kidder eventually being chosen for the part. What I've always wanted, just to be a wife, that corny life. Number 8. Kate Bosworth Much has been written about the 2006 movie Superman Returns, and a large amount of those discussions centre around the casting of the film, especially in regards to Kate Bosworth as Lois Lane. Mixed reviews about her performance mostly focused on her age, with critics complaining that the 22-year-old Bosworth was too young to portray the fearless Daily Planet reporter. It was a long time ago. Were you in love with him? <laughs> he was Superman. Everyone was in love with him. What were you? Number 7. Elizabeth Tullock Elizabeth Bitsy Tullock was first cast in the role of Lois Lane for the CW's December 2018 Elseworlds superhero crossover. Tullock would go on to play the role in the TV series Superman and Lois alongside Tyler Hecklin's Superman. Encompassing everything from Lois's inherent strength her journalistic talents, to her unshakable moral compass, Tullock also took the character places many other versions haven't had to go, being the mother of two teenage boys. Let me guess, Lombard? Ignore him. Though, he can't get box seats to the meteors. You like baseball? Uh, uh, of course. I, I mean, who doesn't like America's pastime, Miss Lane? It's Lois. What did you say your name was again? Uh, I can't. Clark. Clark Kent. Oh, oh. <sighs> Sorry. Number six, Phyllis Coates. Phyllis Coates became the second actress to portray the role of Lois Lane on screen, first appearing in the 1951 movie Superman and the Mole Men, which starred George Reeves as Superman. This movie essentially served as the pilot for the Adventures of Superman TV series. Phyllis Coates' version of Lois was simultaneously beautiful and fiercely determined not to be outdone by Clark Kent. Some have said that her version of Lois Lane was far ahead of its time and that she became a trendsetter on behalf of women's equality in the 1950s. Due to conflicts with the producer and prior commitments, Phyllis decided not to return to the role when filming resumed for the second season of the TV series in 1953. I sure hate to let him get away with it. Obviously, he's working with Mendoza. Sure, but what are we going to do? We'll die out here without food and water. Jim. Yes, Miss Lane? Are you game to follow him with me? Didn't I promise the chief I'd never let you out of my sight? We'll just follow the road and keep our eye on the tire tracks. Come on. Number five, Noelle Neal. Noelle Neal was the first actress to portray Lois Lane on screen. First cast in the role for the 1948 Superman serial alongside Kirk Allen, 
Neil would return in the role for the 1950 serial sequel, Adam Man vs Superman. For whatever reason, when the decision was made to make a new Superman movie, Superman and the Mole Men, Noel Neal was not asked to reprise the role. However, when Phyllis Coates decided not to return for the second season of the Adventures of Superman TV series, Noel Neal was given the role with no audition. She would continue in the part for the remaining five seasons. And what are you doing with the Geiger counter? Oh, well, Superman asked me to check this plane for any traces of contamination. Obviously, it's perfectly all right. See? No clicks. You're just trying to confuse me. But Superman and you, I still wonder. Wonder? Well, it's no wonder you wonder. You're a pretty wonderful girl. Number four, Amy Adams. Amy Adams was cast as Lois Lane for the 2013 Superman movie Man of Steel, alongside Henry Cavill's Superman. Director Zack Snyder says he cast Adams in the role because Amy has the talent to capture all of the qualities we love about Lois, smart, tough, funny, warm, ambitious, and of course beautiful. Adams would go on to play the role in both Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and both versions of the Justice League movie. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. On my world, it means hope. Well, here it's an S. How about... Number 3, Margot Kidder. After a lengthy auditioning process which saw actors like Anne Archer, Susan Blakely, Leslie Ann Warren and Stockard Channing try out for the part, Margot Kidder was chosen to play the role of ace reporter Lois Lane in 1978's Superman the Movie, alongside relative newcomer Christopher Reeves, Clark Kent and Superman. Because of her dogged approach to journalism, Lois would constantly get herself into dangerous scrapes that required Superman to come to her rescue. Kidder would go on to appear in three sequels. God, look up there. What the hell is that? Easy, miss. I've got you. You you've got me! Who's got you? <laughs> oh. Number two. Erica Durance. Cast to play Lois Lane during season four of the TV series Smallville, Erica Durance became a series regular in the show's fifth season, staying in the role for the remainder of the series' run. While dozens auditioned for the role, Durance won the part with executive producer Greg Beeman saying she had a toughness about her. She was tough and sexy and direct. When the series ended after ten seasons, Durance returned to play Lois Lane in the CW's Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, teaming up once more with Tom Welling as Clark Kent. Did you see the one with the elephant? The Man of Steel deserves better than a circus incident on a fender bender. I want Pex, I want Cape, I want Pearly Whites. Yes, Miss Lane. Okay. Your brother left big shoes for you to fill, Olsen. I know you're up to the task. Lane, I know you're out there. Stories don't write themselves, Lane. Great. Number one, Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher rose to fame playing the role of Lois Lane from 1993 to 1997 on the hit TV series Lois and Clark The New Adventures of Superman. In 1995, at the height of the show's popularity, this photo of Hatcher wrapped in a Superman cape was reportedly the most downloaded image on the internet for several months. Hatcher brought a sassy, sexy vibe to the character, but also showed a layer of vulnerability that gave her character real depth. Clark? Just a sec, Lois, I... What you working on? The dock strike. You, you know, the two sides really aren't that far apart. How far apart are they? Really? Lois, are you feeling okay? Never better. I just couldn't help noticing how very... Handsome you look today. So there you have it. Those are the top 10 best live action Lois Lane actors. I'm Steve Eunice from supermanhomepage.com.